Hey guys, welcome back. So today we're going to be playing Bravely Default 2. Um, I've actually, I haven't finished the first game, uh, but I wanted to give the second one a try just to see what it is. Um, so yeah, uh, let's get into it, see, see what this game is. Okay, uh, that caught me off guard. Okay, so enemy turns come around more slowly and battles, battles are easier. Recommended for those who wish to concentrate and join the story. Oh, can be changed at any time? Okay, we'll start with casual, just to, just to get a feel of the game. I actually played the demo of the first game, which um, I played it on the 3DS, I think it was. Uh, and I played it a very long time ago, so uh, I really... I don't know like if the stories are connected or like what what is actually going on so if you know do leave me a comment uh, telling me so uh, for now we'll go with casual if it's too easy we'll switch to normal This is this is kind of weird because like um, I don't remember much of the first game. All I remember is that the combat is pretty fun, uh, at least if you like uh, you know these type of games. It's such a cute loading screen. <laughs> I like it actually. It's pretty, it's pretty cozy. Okay, let's click auto advance. And watch what happens. Actually, this game is on Epic on the Epic Store, so if you guys are interested, you can find it there. Looks pretty good. Who wish to show us? Without a doubt, my lady. Where the light lived, there he lay. Are those voices? But whose? Twould seem he is a young man of the sea. This is all a little unexpected, I must say. But I trust you, Sir Sloan. And I trust the light of the crystal. He may not seem much, my lady, but appearances can be deceiving. In any case, he is in need of urgent treatment. Let us return to town with all haste. We will talk more of what this means at a later juncture. Can't believe I survived. Okay, so, um, at a first glance, this doesn't look anything like the first game. I like, I like how, um, some of the, some of the fabric that the characters are wearing, like, it actually has texture and everything. This is super good looking, like, I am impressed. And there's voices too, guys, like, this is crazy. I love it. Huh? Where, where am I? You are in Halcyonia, in an inn. Don't be alarmed, you are quite safe. 
Okay. Now that you appear to be capable of speaking, perhaps you could tell me a little about yourself. Okay. Me? Uh, sure. I mean, <laughs> I'm just a regular sailor, I guess. My ship got hit by this huge wave, and I was swept overboard. I... I don't remember anything after that. Guess I must have drifted here on the tide. I see. Then perhaps it was the crystal's will after all. Huh? What do you mean? Ah, our young seafarer has awoken at last. Verily, thy plight hath troubled us greatly, friend. We had feared the very worst. This is Sir Sloan, the royal man at arms. The what? Come, my lady. We must make haste. It will not do to keep King Vernon waiting. Indeed not. We will leave right away. W wait, you're going to meet a king? Who exactly are you? Gloria of Musa, at your service. Princess Gloria of Musa, if you prefer my proper title. Although, since my kingdom was destroyed, I've been unsure whether I'm worthy of it any longer. You're... Princess. I shall explain everything in due course. For now, you would do well to rest a while longer. Uh, sure. Okay. Huh. Alright, so moving the story forward. Alright, it's time to get your adventure on the way. Any key locations you need to visit in order to move the story forward will be indicated by the uh, icon. <laughs> Why not start by seeing where it leads you? Okay, I'm super thrilled actually. I I am I am kinda in shock to be honest. Like uh, I was not expecting this. Uh, if you ever get confused about what you're supposed to be doing, you can always press and hold RB uh, to check your current objectives, okay? Cool. Is this? Phoenix down, nice. I like that it, it looks like it's been drawn. I do remember this uh, from the first game, looking like this, or at least somewhat like this. But I remember the characters looking a lot crappier. Yeah. Thanks for letting me stay here. Maybe I'm just tripping. Don't I don't mention it. It's only right to help people out when they're in need. Well, thanks all the same. So this place is called Halcyonia, right? Can't say I've ever heard of it. W where exactly are we? Ah, oh, I didn't think you were from around here. All right, let me show you on a map. Uh, here we are. What the? This map doesn't make any sense. Where the heck am I? Oh. I heard you met with something of a calamity. Yeah, I guess you could say that. My ship was hit by a giant wave. It must have been a freak storm or something. Oh, dear. Yes, we've been hearing a lot about enormous waves and the like lately. We're all right here in the city, but I heard they wreaked havoc down on the coast. That doesn't sound good. Maybe I should go check it out. See if I can figure out what happened to me. Well, the seaside's not far south of here. Follow the road out of town and you'll be there in a jiffy. Tell you what, why don't you take the map with you in case you get lost? Really? Hmm. Thanks. Okay. We obtained the map. Okay, the menu's now accessible. Triangle. That makes sense. Yeah, this game is super charming. Actually, um, ah, I kind of forgot what I wanted to say, but <laughs> it just it's just gone by now. If I remember, I'll say it. Wow, dude, this is this is crazy. Cool. Making your way around town. Uh huh. The shops and if you're struggling to find a particular establishment, press uh huh to get a zoomed out view. Okay. If you need to get somewhere quickly, you can push uh huh to break into a run. 
and if you're the sort of person who's always in a hurry, you can open the menu and go to option settings to have your uh, hero run by default. Okay. Is he running by default? Oh, damn. He actually runs super fast. Like, damn. So, I, I remember exactly what I wanted to say. So, something that uh, I always mention in my videos, if you're, if you're new, you probably don't know what I'm talking about, but if not, you probably heard me complain about silent characters. Uh, and it always happens when you have to name your character. When you have to name your character and create your character, they don't bother putting voices to your character because supposedly, um, you know, you are that character. So you talk for him. Like you don't, you don't. Like he doesn't have it, its own personality. It's you, you know. And I think that's such a cop out. You know, I'm, I'm gonna repeat it a hundred million times. So you're gonna hear me. You know, if you keep watching my videos, you're gonna hear me say it a million times. Uh, I think it's 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 ridiculous. You know, like. If you want to tell the story, make the character talk, you know. And some of the, some I know that some good stories have been told with silent characters, but um, you know I think it's such a good medium, you know. Nowadays, like we have voice acting, and we have such good voice actors, um, and not to utilize that. And I, I know it's a it's a resource thing, you know, because it makes the game more expensive and and, and so on and so forth. But uh, it just uh, you know, it, it's. I'm sorry that I'm like uh, just exploring around in the town, but I'm trying to get my bearings to see how far it goes. But um, but yeah, I, I just think I think you know we we need more games with voice acting. You know, uh, you know, nothing against uh, games like Dark Souls and things like that. You, if you watch my videos, you know that I'm not a fan of them. Um, they're not games that I enjoy because they have they have they have narrative, but it's not told by the characters. And I think that the the best games that we've ever gotten, at least the ones that I enjoy the most, Princess are games Gloria. where thank you um, for joining us. Where I think you may have some. We have characters that tell stories. You, you know, the characters are the ones that you fall in love. The future of the Musen royal line. It has been three years now since you came here to our kingdom. And while I can only imagine your pain at having lost your realm under such tragic circumstances, there comes a time when one must turn from the past and begin to look forward. I wonder if you might consider making your stay here a more long-term arrangement. Prime Minister Horton has convinced me that in finding you a suitable match, we might sooner bring about the restoration of your kingdom. Has he indeed? Thank you, Your Majesty. Yes, with King Vernon's permission, I have instructed my heralds to canvas potential suitors for you, Princess Gloria. Okay, so she's supposed Users to get married. unfortunate end need not mean the end of its illustrious line, after all. I see. And have you any thoughts on the matter, Sir Sloane? The honorable gentleman's line of reasoning is not without merit. Such an arrangement would indeed benefit Musa in the long term. Ah, oh, wise words, Sir Sloan. Your reputation as both a warrior and a thinker is well deserved, I see. Yet I would not dream to speak for Her Highness, of course. It is she and she alone who must decide. King Vernon, your concern for my well-being is, as ever, far more than I deserve. Alas, I have a sacred duty to perform before I can even begin to consider such worldly affairs. This being so, I am afraid I have no choice but to respectfully decline your suggestion. What? How dare you treat my... I mean, King Vernon's kind offices with such disdain? Why, a match has been all but agreed already. Do you wish his majesty to look a fool? That will be quite enough, Horton. We have no right to expect anything of Princess Gloria beyond her kindness in hearing us out. We are friends and allies of long standing, and her wishes will be respected. If it is not impolite to ask, your highness, what is this sacred duty of which you speak? The time has come for me to recover my kingdom's greatest treasures. 
the four crystals. <sighs> Fortunately, thanks to Sir Sloan, the wind crystal is safely in my possession already. But the whereabouts of the others remain unknown. And that does not bode well. Fire, water, wind, earth, nature's masters. The crystal's power exceeds the hand of man. And if unleashed, would bring down death, disaster, calamity and blight upon the land. I learned those lines as soon as I could talk. And if I understand them correctly, the troubled seas may be merely the first among many calamities to come. It is my duty, no, my destiny, as Princess of Musa to do all that I can to prevent further misfortune befalling our world. And I shall fulfill it. Very well. I understand completely. Princess Gloria, you must go. You must fulfill your destiny. Thank you, King Vernon. Your understanding in the matter is much appreciated. went out the city okay when you're out and about in the field it's a good idea to take a look around to take a look around you and get the lay of the lay of the land as you travel who knows what or who you might find hiding in, unexpe in unexpected places for a detailed overview of camera controls uh-huh <laughs> when you're out in the field or exploring a dungeon you can press uh, X uh, to swing your sword Try using it to cut some grass or to give a monster a nasty surprise. Uh, you never know what might happen. Okay. So we're just leaving. Okay. You can just save your game at any time. Uh huh. Even if you forget to save, the handy auto save. Oh, that's nice. Look for the saving. Uh, uh huh. Well, this can be useful. You should still make a habit of saving regularly just to be safe. Yep. Tell me about it. I'm the king of never saving and then, you know, losing a ton of progress. Because I'm a fool. And I'll tell you, I just never learned. It's one of those habits that I try to, like, kick them, but it's so hard. Because, like, to me, saving, at least it's, you know, I come from games where, like, saving takes time. And so I just, you know, it's annoying, and like some of the, some some of the games uh, nowadays, they still take time. You know, like you go in the menu, you click, and then it, it's uh, it's just loading the save, and it's like, ugh, <laughs> so fucking annoying. You know. Okay, so, yo, the graphics on this game are out of this fucking world. Like, this looks super charming. It's terrible, isn't it? Uh, yeah. I mean, I heard it was bad, but this is something else. You should have seen the size of the waves. They smashed absolutely everything to pe- <gasps> oh. A monster! Quickly! Get out of here! That <laughs> lady, it's so cute! Okay. Okay, what's the plan? Two commands form the key components of the Bravely series unique battle system. Brave and default. Oh, okay. <laughs> Use default to accumulate built up power uh, and brave to unleash it. Okay. Uh, the brave command is a potent offensive technique that enables a character to spend BP in order to increase the number of actions they can perform that turn. You can use it to string together chains of the four moves using an item, then attacking three times, for example. Okay. It's even possible to borrow uh, BP against future turns, enabling you to pile on the pressure when the time is right. Okay. Default the default command is a powerful defensive maneuver uh, that enables. Is that how maneuver is is it's spelled? Huh. I don't think I've ever seen that. Like just written. 
uh, that enables the character to hunker down and bank their action for that turn in the form of a break point. The safest way to progress through battle is often to begin by building VP um, through the use of the default command. Okay, so basically, well, try it out for yourself. Oh my god. Uh, Alright, it's time to try and brave. Uh, you don't currently have any VP, uh, but you can borrow, uh, borrow against the VP of future turns. It's worth mentioning, however, that this might not always be the best idea. And never mind that for now. This reminds me of Pokemon. <laughs> so, brave. Yeah, let's go. Also, we're just like attacking, attacking, and attacking. Yo, how are you not down? Okay, so now we're gonna get hit a bunch of times because, right? Because we use a lot of VP. That makes sense, right? Yeah. Okay. I think the game is just healing us. Okay. Beware of over braving. The key benefit of the brave command is that you that it lets you perform multiple actions in a single turn. Be aware, however, that if you borrow BP against future turns, you'll end up with a deficit that must be worked off before you can act again. Wipe the enemy out in one go, and you'll have nothing to worry about. But it's worth bearing in mind that the risk uh, the risk if you're uh, bearing in mind the risk if you gamble doesn't fail. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh my God. Uh, the, the default command can be employed to offset the downside of being great. Um, you can use it to accumulate VP. Okay. So, how do I default? Okay. Nope. What happened? Crikey. Sorry, pal. Oh. I didn't see you standing there. How many times have I told you? Look before you cast. You can't just jump in spells blazing. And how many times have I told you? I'm a big picture guy. He's alright, isn't he? Don't sweat the details. Someone has to when you're going around nearly fragging people. Are you alright? Uh, yeah, I guess. <laughs> but uh, who are you exactly? Just a couple of concerned passers-by. This guy's a wandering scholar, and I'm the one he hired to try and keep him out of trouble. The name's Adele. Okay. Oh, and I'm Elvis. <sighs> anyway, enough chit chat. We've got a battle to finish. Try not to incinerate anyone, okay, Elvis? Hi, aye. aye. <laughs> I'll do my best. Alright, let's do it. So, he does black magic. Nice. Here I go. Freelancer. Okay. Examine. Treat. Uh huh. Okay. Let's see. Examine. <laughs> oh, it's like a. Oh, he's almost dead. I'm up, huh? Oh my God! He got freaking wrecked. What the heck? Also, I can examine too. Okay. Let's go. Thunder. He actually reminded me of the bad guy in Final Fantasy XV. Uh, what was it called? What was it called? Uh, I don't remember. I love that sometimes, like I, I edit my own videos, right? Uh, and so when I watch again while I'm editing, while I watch again when I don't remember something, like I watch it and I remember what I'm talking about. Like I, I remember the name of what I was talking about. But in the moment, it just doesn't come up to me. I don't know what it is. You might, you might be thinking, like, if you watch my videos regularly, you might be thinking that I actually have, like, memory problems. I'm in a scrap on you, laddie. That was some tasty brawling. It really was. You were definitely more help than a certain so-called scholar I could mention. Oh, aye. Less of that. I pulled my weight fair and square. Isn't that right, pal? <laughs> I like his accent. Oh, um, yeah, definitely. 
Oh, you're only saying that because he put you on the spot. It's all right, you know. You can tell us what you really think. Besides, if you're nice to this one, it'll only go to his head. <laughs> and what would be so wrong with that, eh? Go on, son. Phrase away. I could do with a wee boost to the old self-esteem. Believe me, that's the last thing he needs. Uh, anyway, thanks for helping me out back there. Uh, miss. Hey, less of that. It's just plain Adele, okay? Aye, we don't stand much in ceremony as to. What are you doing scrapping with monsters anyway? You don't look like your average warrior, I must say. Oh, I was just helping out an old lady who was in trouble. Uh, have a go hero, eh? Very noble. I reckon you and me are going to get along just fine. Uh, which is lucky, because I'm about to take you back to town and treat you to a wee drink. Oh, really? <laughs> are you sure? Am I sure? <laughs> After a bonding experience like that, I insist on it. Well, in that case... All right. That's the spirit. Ho <laughs> ho! Then away to the tavern we go. I've worked up a right old thirst. Oh, but before I forget, have you seen one of these about the place? What, what is, is it? it? It's called an asterisk. Us two are on a journey collecting them, which is how we ended up happening across you. But we're not friends or anything. I'm only here because he hired me. Ah, guy, details. Anyway. We heard there was someone around these parts in possession of one of these wee beauties, so I was wondering if you may know something? No. Sorry, guys. I'm not from around here. Matter of fact, I'm not even here by choice. I got shipwrecked and just kind of washed up nearby. A shipwreck? Talk about a calamity. Yeah, I guess. But hey, I'm still alive, and I wasn't too badly hurt, so... Aye, sounds like you're plenty to be thankful for. Not least of all meeting the two of us. Now, shall we go and celebrate or what? That bar won't prop itself up. <laughs> okay. Okay, that's it. Cool. Jobs and abilities can now be viewed and managed from the menu. Okay. Interesting. Okay, what Your the heck Highness, was that? A wandering merchant brings most worrisome tidings. The desert kingdom of Savalon is beset by a sudden abundance of water. So much so that full half the capital has been submerged. A deluge in the desert, milady. It is unheard of. I would fain hazard a guess that this is a crystal's doing. Savalon? The kingdom is a muse and ally of long standing. And King Orion is a fine man. I am sure he would be happy to tell us more about what has been happening. We should head there right away. One moment, milady. Lurk not in the shadows, rogues. Show yourselves. Okay, what the heck is that? Very impressive, Thea Sloan. The greatest swordsman in the land is still as sharp as ever, it seems. Thou knowest me. Then thee and thy companion are no mere sneak thieves, it would seem. Perhaps thou might do me the kindness of an introduction. Well, since you asked so nicely, my sharp-eyed friend, I am Selena. Yeah. And I'm Dag. We will come straight to the point, yes? Princess Gloria, we want the wind crystal. Please make this easy for everyone and hand it over. W what? Come now, do as we say and no one will have to get hurt. Never mind all the fancy talk, Selena. Let's just bash him and take the bloody thing. The old codge has already got one foot in the grave. We'll be done with him in no time. Thou thinkest me too old to school thee, boy. There is life in this old dog yet. <laughs> okay. I mean, you're gonna get your ass handed to you. Pro probably. Well, raise all you like, mate. You don't stand a chance against me. Is that an 
Asterisk. What are those things? Too right it is. Bet you wish you'd just given us the crystal now, don't ya? Bring it, old man. What? Was it you? Do that this spoilers of Musa stand before me. Musa? What are you on about? Hmm. Mayhap you are mere mercenaries. In which case, whose coin have purchased thy services? Mm. I'll show ya. <gasps> oh no. Game's up, Grandad. Put the sword down, or the kid gets it. S stop it! L let me go! So slow. You must do as he says. What kind of monster takes a child hostage? Whatever. It worked, didn't it? All's fair dinkum in love and war. Now shut your whinging and hand over the crystal. <laughs> Please stop it. I do not have the crystal. Hey? You have hidden it somewhere. Very well. Then we will just have to take you instead. Never! You will let the child go free? Then I will do as you say. Princess Gloria! Hostage trade, eh? Hmm, not a bad idea. And I'd probably go along with it too if Greybeard here hadn't rubbed me up the wrong way. <gasps> Yo! Will you be hidden in Sloan Point? Will take a mightier blow than this to fill me. Do it now. Well, there's a coincidence, because that's exactly what I was about to give you. Ready or not, your highness. I have already agreed to come with you. There is no need for further bloodshed. Oh yeah? Think you can tell me what to do, do ya? You ain't the princess of me, girly. All right, Dag. You have had your fun. But... She was telling the truth. She does not head the Wind Crystal. Now, do as we promised and release the child. You can walk, yes? You must fetch the Wind Crystal and bring it to the abandoned house north of town. Once you have done that, we will release Princess Gloria. But if you even think about bringing help from Halcyonia, well, I am sure I don't need to tell you what would happen. <laughs> Smell you later, Drongos. Princess Gloria! Man, poor Sloan. He got wrecked. Monsters freely roam the fields. Uh, when the monster notices you, uh huh, uh huh. Uh, not from behind, that's for sure. Okay. As you work your way through the story, you'll occasionally see the words party chat. Uh huh. Oh, so that that'll start a conversation. The notification will appear, will disappear after a while, but you can catch up. On any party chat you miss by opening. Okay, that, that's cool. Okay, let's let us go over here. Actually, is that a chest over there? Oh, it's 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 up. Oh, well, I was talking about the one over there, but uh, I as well get this one too. Oh, 410. Zinga, that's what you get. Oh, the party's feeling brave. Well, that's a lot of monsters. Turn in order. Uh, character speed stat and the weight. Okay, that makes sense. The actions a character took in their previous video. Yep, that makes sense. Status effects. Okay. Status of your allies. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Enemy. Uh-huh. 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 Uh -huh. Okay. So, uh, there are two types of vulnerabilities. Uh, elements, fire, water, lightning, wind, earth, light, and darkness. 
weapon types, dagger, sword, stabs. Uh -huh. So basically, you just like use the magnifying thing. Just to, you're probably with the eyes. I mean, you gotta be. Okay, and he's with the okay, electricity. Let's go. Okay, lizard. Okay, that, that didn't do what, what I expected. But, uh, yo, that's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. Uh, is it because he was like blocking or something? Guess it's my turn. Kill it. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, now it's vulnerable. Oh, so we're not using a sword, we're using a dagger. That's probably why. Get away to thunder, right? Oh man, he has like 7 HP left. Okay, so that guy is vulnerable. Get this one out of the way. And this guy, uh, battle info, and yeah, he's weak to water, right? Okay, that does it. Nice, underdog bonus. What does that mean? <laughs> Means I'm low level. Okay, I mean, hey, I. I don't you be chasing me. Let's go. Okay. Oh, I got you so good. Let's do this. Here I go. Okay, let's see what happens. Oh, that's a new monster. A wolf. You're done. Okay, oh, you're not done. Now you're done. Ha! <laughs> Told you. Damn! Well, there's there's no healing between battles, so we gotta be careful with that. You're done. Oh what? All right. You're done. Now you're done. Okay. Oh, shit. So make you brave. Let's see if that gets him down. Oh no, I don't think it'll be enough. Ah, oh, what? And we missed top of that? Yeah. Music reminds me of Attack on Titan, like the the first intro. You know what I mean? Okay, default. Just in case. Let's examine this boat. Okay, so weak to fire and dagger, I think. Is it? Yeah. Okay, so now we'll go brave. That's it. I'm starting to get the hang of it. Yeah, okay, you're super dead. Nice. That's actually a pretty cool system. I I, I kind of like it. It's pretty good. Okay, so we're a freelancer. And that guy is a black mage, and she's a freelancer too. Okay. A dwarf too. What the hell is it? I like that he's using a little lantern because it's it's uh, nighttime. Little details, you know. Help! S somebody help me! Oh, it's you the okay? little kid. What's the matter? A, a horrible man and woman took me, but then. An old man and another woman came and saved me, but then the man got attacked and now he's really badly hurt. We'd better go help him out. Will you show us where he is? Whoa! Are you okay? Wait a second. You're the guy from before. <sighs> ah. 
Greetings, young seafarer. You're hurt. We need to get you seen to right away. <sighs> Tis not. But the princess. What happened to Gloria? Is she okay? The fiends took her. <sighs> Never mind that now. Let's get you to bed. You're right. Come on. <sighs> well, I'll be jiggled. So you're the famous Sir Sloan, eh? <laughs> Lady Emma told me all kinds of wild tales about you, my man. Oh, and how is dear Emma? Is she well? I, uh... I'm afraid she passed on six months ago or so. I see. Thou wert her apprentice. Time truly does fly. Why, I can recall when the good lady studied under another herself. But forgive me, much as I would love to spend the day in fond reminiscence, alas, there are more pressing matters at hand. I must away and wrest her highness from the clutches of those unconscionable <coughs> rogues. Sorry, but you won't be resting anyone from anything in your condition. <laughs> I'd be surprised if you could rest yourself out of bed. But I must. Well, how about I join you? You are kind indeed, young sir, but I cannot allow it. The rogues in question are in possession of an asterisk. <laughs> well, that's all the more reason to go deal with them, right? Besides, I owe you after you help me out back there at the beach. But good sir, I... I'm coming too. If there's an asterisk involved, I'm there with bells on. Thine aid is appreciated, but... Might I ask why the asterisk would interest thee so? Oh, aye. Ask away, pal. It's because of this old book, see? I found it when I was going through Lady Emma's stuff. I couldn't read a word about when I first picked the thing up. But we have an asterisk near it, and the gobbledygook starts making sense. And I'm nothing if not nosy. So, I set out on a quest to find enough of these special wee stones to read the whole thing. Intriguing. If I can find another asterisk and help your pal into the bargain, then everyone's a winner. Great. Then we should leave right away. Though it weighs heavy on my conscience to enlist the aid of strangers, I fear I have little choice. You have my thanks. Her Highness has been taken to an abandoned building north of the town. Let us make haste. Okay, Sir Sloan is now accompanying the party. Alright. But, uh... Oh, occasional companions. You'll sometimes be joined by, uh, by other characters during the course of your adventure. You won't be able to control any such guest companions, but they'll help out with the odd attack and healing stuff. That makes sense. Adventuring tips too. Tents. You can use tents out in the field and at the save points in dungeons. Using one will res restore all your HP and MP and cure any status ailments, so it's a good idea. Uh, yeah, you can, buy, you can buy them in at all good shops, so be sure to stock up. That makes sense. Nice. Changing jobs. Ooh, we can change jobs. Cool. Collecting asterisks will enable you to change your party members' jobs. Oh, that's what they do. Open the menu and select jobs to do so. You want to strike a good balance between the roles you are assigned. Freelancer means adapted using all sorts of equipment. Uh, with special abilities designed to make adventuring easier. Oh, uh, cool. Excels at offensive magic and can bring destructive power to bear over a wide area. Uh, care must be taken not to run out of MP. Okay. Alright. Can we. We can't really change the rest, huh? Okay, uh, yeah, so, so far we only have two. Alright. For now we'll be a freelancer, for sure. Uh, but yeah, anyways guys, so for now I guess that'll be it. Uh, do you like uh, do you like the game? Do you like this, this, this sort of story? Are you curious about where it goes? Do you want to see where it goes? Do let me know. Uh, if, uh, if you want it, then I'll make a series out of it. Um, 
So yeah, I guess until next time, guys, take care and bye-bye.